Hey guys, it's Bruce and I'm going to be talking about government jobs. Before I start, you should know that I have a course that talks about how to get into cybersecurity, how to work remotely. If you're interested in that kind of thing, the course is right there in this link that's kind of scrolling below. And I'll also put it in the description below. Let's get to it. So somebody asked me, this SML Keeb asked me, uh, good question. I love ask, answering questions like this because this is stuff that's right up my alley. But he says, I'm getting ready to take the CompTIA A plus test. And I hope you passed this. So this was four weeks ago. So you probably already took it by now. I have military experience and all the IT jobs in the government agency ask me if I have the certification and it is a lot of information to learn if you don't have any IT background. Yes, true. Do you recommend what do you recommend? What about if I just graduate with a cybersecurity certification? Okay, I can definitely talk to this. Now I've already responded to him. This was in regards to him asking about I did a video about cybersecurity training courses and certifications and um, I'm pretty much gonna say the same thing similar things that I said on that video because it hasn't really changed much since I did this I think it did this two years ago but uh, I said security plus will go a long way if you're going for government positions and I stand behind that security plus by CompTIA is a great certification especially for entry-level folks if somebody asked me what do I mean by entry level um, I, entry level to me is uh, one year of IT experience like you've worked in a position for for one year right if, it, if you don't have one year of IT experience yeah that's also you would want to get into an entry level position but when I say entry level what I am talking about is one to maybe two years of experience in help desk I'm not talking about somebody who has five years experience doing s servers or, you know, to me it's very clear. It's one to two years on help desk. Like you don't have, and your, and your range is very narrow. Like you've only been doing help desk positions. That's a great place to start if that's you. So speaking specifically to Keith, he seems, um, from reading his comment, and I don't know like, if, if this is true, but it seems like he has military experience, which is actually good no matter what field you worked in no matter if it was IT or whatever, people love to see, governments, agencies in the US love to see military experience because they, it shows that you had discipline unless you were like kicked out or something, but it shows that you have discipline, you're willing to work hard, and vets tend to be hardworking. They, they really put a good name out for themselves because they work like freaking animals. <laughs> and no, I'm not I'm saying a bit that to be offensive. I am an, a vet myself. We work hard. Is what I'm saying. We're workhorses, uh, so that's a good. That's very good, right? Even if you don't have IT experience, but it sounds to me like you don't have much IT experience if you have any, because you said you went on to say that you're taking the CompTIA experience and it's a lot to go through, especially for somebody who doesn't have an IT background. So it sounds like you're trying to get an IT background. Okay, so so probably I'm not security. If sure, security plus is for you. But if you, okay, so if you do have security, any kind of IT background, I would recommend the Security Plus. When I say IT background, I mean like when you were in the military, did you do any help desk at all? Did you uh, even assist? Did you augment and work a little bit with IT? Did you go to supplement any, do any work at all with IT? If I, if you did, I would do if I was in your position is I would go straight for the security plus after you take your a plus certification that being said you you do have to have some experience to take the security plus security plus is is not a it's not an entry level certification it's entry level for security if you if you just got into security and you've been working in security then yeah it's kind of kind of entry level anyway so let's say you you don't have experience like you were your mos in the army was was a uh, you were a loader uh, you were a MP. You were your AFSC in the Air Force, and I don't know what branch you were in. Was uh, you were an SP? You were Security Forces, right? You were a cook. You were a service person. You did not do IT. Very, very little IT. Like all you did was turn your computer on and maybe install some software or something. <laughs> and that's not like really experience. But uh, so if that's the case, if you're doing this from scratch, I would say uh, what I would highly recommend is to go to a class. 
go to a class, go to a college if you can. Like if especially if you just got out of the military, use uh use your GI bill if you have it. Use your use any kind of benefits you can to go back to school and then take a class in it. This is what I would do if I was in your position. Now, let's say that's not an option. You you can't go to school. You you don't have you know, you don't have the time to do it or whatever. And that's unfortunate because that certification that that degree you get is huge is huge a degree is above a certification a, a certification is not um, a magic bullet they're expecting you to have some level of experience all right so if you can get some college a co here's how it goes experience is here college is here certifications are here right in that order that's what the employers are looking for that's what the government agencies are looking for. That being said, the Security Plus, the, the, even the A-plus certification is great to get your foot in the door. So with if you do pass the A-plus certification, let's say you don't have experience in the military, came in, you, you don't have time to go to get a bachelor's or associate's degree or anything like that, you don't have the GI Bill, okay, but you have the CompTIA A-plus certification. Well, that's still good, because and here's why. What you can do is go to one of these job search engines. I use these a lot because they work. You can type in this. And before I do that, look, security. I've typed in Security Plus. There's tons of jobs for Security Plus that specifically say, you must have a Security Plus certification. You must. We're looking for an A Plus certification. We're looking for a Security Plus certification. And here's the location. It's $18 an hour. These are great entry-level positions. Anyway, but we're saying you don't, let's say you don't have a Security Plus. Let's say you have a CompTIA A plus certification. So A plus is a great certification because field tech services often ask for you to have this level of basic hardware and software knowledge of uh, of systems. So this is a good certification to start off with to get your foot in the door in a job like this. Look at this job. This is a field technician two. Now you probably come in as a field technician one, where you'd be an apprentice under somebody who's a field technician two or three but that's great because they can teach you on the job and you have lots of hands-on experience and they demonstrate they're saying demonstrate proficient skills with telephony pulling wires terminating cables so this is a, this is a two so we probably want a three but a plus certification is stuff like this look minimum requirements high school diploma or GED two years installation and repairing maintenance telecom uh, network services but this is a field tech too so this is probably not what you're gonna want field tech one probably won't have this two years of experience they might only have just a GED and if that's the case you're already ahead of the, of the curve on that one and let's let's look at something else here this one's kinda out of our our range let's look at this one here A plus certified computer technician one year experience required again if I were you and you don't have one year experience, you might want to just go ahead and contact them and say, hey, I'm willing to learn. And I here's what I do know. Here's what I've done on my own. Here's I already know how to hook up networks in my house. I already know. It, you got nothing to lose by asking them, right? Because you want to learn. This is for Minnesota, so I don't know if this is in your area, but this site can choose where, where you're going to be at. So let's look for another job here. A plus certification and you notice like the job the amount that they pay is not very much it's an entry-level position where you're doing basic field uh, work you're doing basic uh, troubleshooting of a uh, work of uh, laptops and and computers so this is not gonna pay a lot but it's really really good for getting your foot in the door for doing IT security the first step is learning the basics of computer computers period so let's see summary of this position it's in Arizona it pays 12 to 15 dollars an hour as a computer technician the technician is responsible for maintaining an inspired selling culture maintaining an inspired selling culture that is committed to offering every customer the total solution of his or her technical needs okay so it looks like a local computer shop and uh, they're looking for somebody who engages and builds relationships with associates and clients let me see what's the minimum requirement so they're, they're looking for a bachelor's degree what are they looking for preferred okay wait here we go requirements now look at this this is this is the kind of job we're looking for for entry level for if you have a if you passed that that uh, CompTIA A plus this is the kind of job you want to start with because from here you can build your career up 
and these people will teach you what you need to know for the next step. The next step is going to be a security plus after you get about a year here. You get a year here. So here's and here's the thing. When you do this kind of job, what happens is you're going to do security as you're doing this because you're doing things like loading uh, signatures for viruses. You're doing things like patching systems. You're doing things like clearing viruses off of people's computers. Those are the kinds of things you're doing. You're setting up uh, host-based firewalls. Those are all security things that you have to do for basic stuff for people's computers. And, and that's how you learn and that's how you put that on your resume. But look at the requirements. It says, can pass a drug screening. Okay, I'm sure you can do that. A clean driving record. Driver's license, because you're going to be driving around town, hooking up wireless networks and stuff. Uh, a plus certification preferred. So A plus certification is incredible for entry level. Incredible. In my last video, I talked about, uh, one video I talked about entry level positions. And one thing I forgot to mention is this CompTIA A plus certification. It's an awesome certification to get for entry level because it gets your foot in the door to things like this, this computer technician job, which is a great way to, to launch your whole career. This is where I started. You got to start off at the bottom. You can't start off walking in the door of a, of a three-letter agency talking about, I want to run your risk management framework processes for $130,000 and not how it works. You start from the bottom, entry level, if you don't know not, anything, you, you work your way into new certifications by getting that experience. And then over time, you're like, you know what? I want to go up to a next level. I'm going to get an associate's degree. Go back to school, get an associate's degree. You know what? The associate's degree is not doing much for me. I'm going to get a bachelor's degree get a bachelor's degree. All these doors start opening up one by one by one, but you guys start off at the bottom just like all of us. That's it for this one, guys. Remember, if you want to know more about risk management framework, if you're at that level, if, if you're at the level where you're trying to become an information system security officer, I am developing a course for that. It's right here in that little scrolly text. I also talk about how I've been able to retain uh, cybersecurity jobs, making six figures <laughs> so i can show you how i did it and then also remote work show you how to do that um how to get into those positions all those courses are right here if you're interested in that but other than that i got tons of free stuff on this on this uh channel i got tons of free stuff on that on the other site that i post every now and then free stuff so go check it out and that's it guys i'm out of here peace